time now is 6.51 and we are here in the KQT kitchen with no one other than Craig Kiesman. And today we're making a salad, but of course, it's not just a regular salad. This is a beef salad. I don't see a, a lot of salad. lettuce in there. There's not, there's not any lettuce in this. So all right. Okay. All um, so I have a couple different beets. Um, I have, they're both red beets, but one of them is boiled and the other one's roasted. So you get two different textures, two okay. different flavors. Oh. Um, and so basically you peel your beets slice them, um, roast them in the oven, or you can grill them. I mean, Excellent. I've done a lot of different things. Just impart some different textures and flavors to them. I think that's why I love beets, because they are so versatile. Exactly, mm -hmm. and they're, they really they're are. super good for you. Like, I know like everyone says, eat your veggies. Well, definitely eat your beets, because they're definitely really good for you. All kinds of antioxidants and stuff. Um, a lot of people don't like messing with beets because they're- They stay in your hands. They stay in your hands. So use yep. gloves. I use some, just some latex disposable kitchen gloves. Those work really well. Or um, get the golden beets. They're, uh, the they're, you can find those sometimes at organic stores, okay. um, places like that, and they're really easy to work with, and they don't stay in your hands. Cool beans. So what have we, what have we made today? So uh, besides the beets, we also have some green onions in there. It smells great. We have um, some sesame seeds. I'm using a black sesame seed. You can use regular sesame seeds because they go well together. We got some okay. dill, salt, pepper, and then I made a vinaigrette out of uh, balsamic vinegar, some sesame oil, and then um, some of our mead. And ah. So ah. Mead, uh, we seasonally release mead, and so we just released it. We're having a release party this weekend for it. And meads yeah. are a wine made out of honey. So we a have a wine about made out of honey. That yeah. sounds Ooh. good. So we have about seven <laughs> different meads that we're doing, and we use some of our regular um, wildflower mead in our vinaigrette today. So. Interesting. Okay, cool beans. Well, I'm excited to try it. So like, oh no, I'm about I, I can't wait to try this in <laughs> here. And I think that's really interesting that that's something I didn't know about the Windy Wine Company that y'all also make mead. Yeah. So how would you describe the taste of it? Uh, mead, well, I mean, it depends on what time you get, but it's definitely got a very strong honey tone to it. A okay. lot of it depends on the honey that is used. So we use local sourced honey. So we have um, wildflower honey. We have some clover honey okay. meads. So each of our meads have a different type of honey that we use to them, nice. as well as different spices and herbs and things like that. So they're pretty uh, bare basic yeah. wines if you get down to it, because we're not using artificial flavors or anything. We're actually infusing the uh, actual essences of the spices and stuff with them. Sounds so, so fancy. Yeah. It's gonna, that sounds going to be really good. And I see you've got some, some goat cheese there. Some goat oh, cheese, yeah, yeah. the so goat cheese. Go yeah. for it. Um, I forgot to tell you, there's mandarin oranges in here, too. I like that little citrus zest to it. Yeah. And, and then goat cheese just dresses up if you want a little bit of creaminess to it. And the goat cheese goes really well with beets. So. Ooh, very okay. nice, very nice. So is this one of those meals where you can just do it with the kids and have it pre-done? Yeah, absolutely. Now, beets are a little harder to cut. So, because they're harder whenever they're... Yeah, they're maybe cook them so first. Cook them first, and they're okay. easy to peel that way. So you can actually cook your, boil your beets or cook them, and then take your gloves, and then the skins rub off once they're cool to touch. Cool beans. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to get some forks. We're going to try this for now. We're going to send you 